In number theory, Dirichlet's theorem, also called the Dirichlet prime number theorem, states that for any two positive coprime integers r and d, there are infinitely many primes of the form a plus n d, where n is a non-negative integer. In other words, there are infinitely many primes which are congruent to a modulo d. The numbers of the form a plus n d form an arithmetic progression and Dirichlet's theorem states that this sequence contains infinitely many prime numbers. The theorem extends Euclid's theorem that there are infinitely many prime numbers. Stronger forms of Dirichlet's theorem state that for any such arithmetic progression, the sum of the reciprocals of the prime numbers in the progression diverges and that different such arithmetic progressions with the same modulus have approximately the same proportions of primes. Equivalently, the primes are evenly distributed among the congruence classes modulo de containing A's coprime to D. Dirichlet's theorem does not require that the sequence contains only prime numbers and deals with infinite sequences. For finite sequences, there exist arbitrarily long arithmetic progressions of primes, a theorem known as the Green-Tau theorem. Examples an integer is a prime for the Gaussian integers if either the square of its modulus is a prime number or one of its parts is zero and the absolute value of the other is a prime that is congruent to 3 modulo 4. The primes of the type 4n plus 3 are 3, 7, 11, 19, 23, 31, 43, 47, 59, 67, 71, 79, 83, 103, 107, 127, 131, 139, 151, 163, 167, 100 179, 191, 199, 211, 223,227, 239, 251, 263, 271, 283. They correspond to the following values of n. 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 10, 11, 14, 16, 17, 19, 20, 25, 26, 31, 32, 34, 37, 40, 41, 44, 47, 49, 52, 55, 56, 59, 62, 65, 67, 70, 76, 6, 77, 82, 86, 89, 91, 94, 95. The strong form of Dirichlet's theorem implies that is a divergent series. The following table lists several arithmetic progressions with infinitely many primes and the first few ones in each of them. Distribution. Since the primes thin out, on average, in accordance with the prime number theorem, the same must be true for the primes in arithmetic progressions. One naturally then asks about the way the primes are shared between the various arithmetic progressions for a given value of d. The answer is given in this form. The number of feasible progressions modulo d, those where her and d do not have a common factor greater than 1, is given by Euler's totient function further. The proportion of primes in each of those is for example if d is a prime number q, each of the q minus 1 progressions other than contains a proportion 1 of the primes, when compared to each other. Progressions with a quadratic non-residue remainder have typically slightly more elements than those with a quadratic residue remainder. History Euler stated that every arithmetic progression beginning with 1 contains an infinite number of primes. The theorem in the above form was first conjectured by Legendre in his attempted unsuccessful proofs of quadratic reciprocity and proved by Dirichlet with Dirichlet L series. The proof is modeled on Euler's earlier work relating the Riemann zeta function to the distribution of primes. The theorem represents the beginning of rigorous analytic number theory. ATLE Selberg gave an elementary proof. Proof. Dirichlet's theorem is proved by showing that the value of the Dirichlet L function at 1 is non-zero. 
The proof of this statement requires some calculus and analytic number theory. In the particular case R equals 1 can be proven by analyzing the splitting behavior of primes in cyclotomic extensions, without making use of calculus. Generalizations The Bunyakovsky conjecture generalizes Dirichlet's theorem to higher-order polynomials. Whether or not even simple quadratic polynomials such as x2 plus 1 attain infinitely many prime values is an important open problem. In algebraic number theory, Dirichlet's theorem generalizes to Chebotarev's density theorem. Linux's theorem concerns the size of the smallest prime in a given arithmetic progression. Linux proved that the progression of plus nd contains a prime of magnitude at most c dl for absolute constants c and l. Subsequent researchers have reduced l to 5. An analog of Dirichlet's theorem holds in the framework of dynamical systems.